I got my package from Avery. It was supposed to come on, on it was supposed to come the 10th. What's today, mom? The 12th? Yeah. Huh? I think so. It was supposed to come the 12th, but ooh, it's here. I was filming my um, trial and error mixing video and I was like, let me just check outside real quick. I'm done mixing now. And I got my consistency right. So, boom, my labels are in, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna show you my labels and if you would like to learn how I did it, um, I'll continue. I'll show it after this or before. I'll show it after this. Okay, so here's my labels. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my, God. let me see if it's clear. I wanna just see. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so I got one, two. I feel like I'm reading papers. Jessica, here. Okay. Here, here's your grave. Guadalupe, here. Caleb, where's Caleb? Has anybody seen Caleb? So these are my labels. Oh. So cute and they're perfect. They're perfect, perfect, perfect. I'll show you guys what I did if you guys wanna know. It comes with four sheets like this. So cute. If you guys want it bigger, you can do it bigger. And then I got these round ones. And I got eight sheets. And it says, it says, smile, your order's here. <laughs> And then you get, I'm so excited, sorry for being rude. And then I get my 10% off, your 10% off code. And then these are the different labels they have. Yeah, it's so easy. Seven times 48, you say? Yeah. 336. 336. Okay, and these are the second labels I got. I got them for like the outside packaging if I wanna put it. Um, when I get those, if someone orders a big, a big amount of them or a large, if someone orders a large amount of them, I can um, like do the little paper and then put one of these stickers on there. Super cute. And um, just other things I have in store that I think that this will look nice on. So it's just the crown V with, it's just, it's like crown V because there's a crown and the V from the logo. This is my logo. I'll put a picture up here my logo like this. But I'm, this is just the Crown V, so it's Crown Vic. Super cute in their circles. And then I got the clear ones to go on the lip gloss. So super cute. I'm so happy. Let me show my mom. Let me see what she thinks. She doesn't want to be on camera. I like both of them. Okay, those are my... These are my, um, it's like seven minutes. I talk too much. Oh my God. Oh, there's the other one. I was like, um, this is only seven. Here's the eighth sheet. So I got these two for the packages I just got right now. And the other packages are supposed to come in August or July. So I'm going to wait then to order more. But I just want to drop the lip glosses first and the lip scrubs. But I do have other packages coming in for my trial to see if my customers like it. So I'm really excited. I have um, more products in store for you guys. So hopefully you guys like my my style and my my thing. So um, yeah, here's my uh, labels that I got from Avery. Mm. That's me, my thumbnail. So um, keep watching to see how I did it and. Um, yeah, like a simple easy tutorial. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how I put my lab labels on Avery.com. So here's what the website looks like. Pretty dope. Everyone gets their printing here from now, now on. But if you guys know any other sites that are cheaper, then let a girl know. Okay, 
So you want to go to custom printing, not blank labels, because they will send you a blank sticker in. Hello, we can go to Dollar Tree for that. We don't need to pay no $16. So go to the custom printing tab, go to shapes, and click your shape. If you want to see the rest of the shapes, just click shop all shapes. They have so many, and I think they have a couple new ones as well. So they have the square, they have the round off one that's pretty cute. They have the star and the heart that's new. So that's super cute. And I know that costs extra. Okay. So right now I'm just going to do a regular square because I'm going to customize it for a lip gloss. Okay, here we are in custom printing. Um, so they have different formats that you can choose from. You can do the sheet labels. You can do the roll labels or the cut stickers. Um, yeah, so I like the rectangle ones, but if you want roll labels, they look like this. And the cut stickers um, come out. I guess you can put different ones on there. So if you click the little icon right there, it shows you a description, more detail of each uh, option. So the sheet labels are great for small quantities and frequent changing items. And the roll labels are perfect for large items. So I would pick the roll labels if I was doing like um, something in a container with screw top, maybe a shea butter or something like that. Um, cream but for right now I'm going to do the lip glosses so I'm going to pick rectangle and um, I'm going to go down to size okay, if you don't need a custom size then click no but we do want a custom size so um, depending on what you want to stick on it make sure you um, measure what you want to stick the label on and you measure these these measurements on there to see how big the sticker will be. I click this first one for my labels, my lip glosses. I think they're a little bit too small. So next time I print, I'm going to click this option, this uh, two by three times one and uh, three fourths, because I feel like my label will just be a little bit bigger and a little bit more legible. Because I feel like, I know, I just feel like it's too small, and especially the bottom part in beauty, maybe because it's pink. I might change that back to black. And the three-fourths, I feel like that's too, too big. Uh, I don't know. Mm, okay, I'm just going to pick this one, the two by three. I think the three by four is too big for the lip gloss. But like I said, you guys do need to measure and make sure that is the right size for you guys. Um, but I'm going to click the two-thirds. I did click the smallest size for my labels. So if you see my lip glosses now uh, on my website or my Facebook shop, if you like those that size, then go ahead and click the smallest one. Um, here, I'm going to click the um, clear film. They also have the removable white vinyl. They have the brown paper, the silver, and um, they have matte white, glossy white, and white film. So I'm going to click the clear. Like I said before, you don't need to have a transparent image to put it on the clear. Just to let you guys know, it can be a white background, and they will make it transparent for you at Avery before they ship it out to you. Right here, the next step is to pick how much you want. Um, don't worry about making a final decision right here. You can always change it on after you customize it and see the different pricing that you want. And um, here, I think you save about $4-ish. So you can click on which one you want, how many labels you want. And down below that, um, more after more orders and save. So you kind of see like, okay, if I get this one, it's 11 cents each per label. So you can kind of do your pricing and add that on so okay I got the lip gloss tube it costs X amount of dollars uh, for each tube and then the labels cost 11 cents each so um, that's gonna be my total cost and then you can do your profit margins from there okay so here you can upload your logo if you want to create it on Avery you can do that as well but I suggest that you um, design it on your own because it can be kind of restricting on this site possibly and here you can <clears throat> Pick what direction you want your label to go in. Um, I'll pick the horizontal, but vertical will be kind of different. Make your stuff stand out because not everybody does vertical. So that'll be pretty cool too. You just change up your logo a little bit because if it's a font logo that's going straight across, it might look kind of weird. Okay, here we go. And here you, you can drag and drop your file. So here I'm going to click um, select file to select my logo that I made. Click it, lady. 
I actually did a voiceover over this and it was kind of like glitchy when I was doing the screen record. So I have to re-record uh, my, um, my video. Okay, anyway, so it's in downloads, so Crown Vic Beauty logo. I have my transparent ones. I have my business card, so I kind of try to keep it organized because I'm not an organized person, so I'm trying to get more organized. And so I'm going to click this one. It's not transparent. You don't need to be transparent for the third time. <laughs> so just trying to make you guys realize that you don't need that for the clear film because when I ordered, I was like, oh, my God, I didn't put my transparent ones. But it did uh, come out transparent, so that's what that's the good thing. So you can see the white background. You see that white thing um, on this on the top. Like it doesn't matter if it's white or not. Anyway, well, it doesn't matter if you pick a different color other than white, like silver and stuff. I think that you probably do want to do the transparent one just to keep it safe. So here we go. We're gonna drag that out and put it in. Uh, the middle so you see where it says safety area we want to make sure that our logo is not is in the, within the safety area so it says print to edge so any background color that you have and you want it to the edge you want to push it past that outside line so if you have their background as pink or you have your background as a certain color you want or you have like a certain design on it, I don't know like pineapple background you want to make sure it's to the edge and then the second line is trim so this is approximately the edge of your product when when printing. So that's just giving you a summary of that's where it's going to be cut off at your um, your uh, sticker, and then the middle dotted line right there is the safety zone for any pictures or um, or um, words that you guys that we have in our label. So we want to make sure that our letters and our picture is is with is within the safety area. So for my labels, the top of the crown is cut off a little bit because it's it was above the safety line. So you guys want to make sure, yeah, it was above the safety line right there. So you want to make sure that it's within um, the inner dotted lines, okay? Because I was like, oh no, it's, it's, it's okay, it's going to print to the edge. And no, honey, it didn't print to the edge. I didn't read the fine print. So that's why I'm kind of reading it to you guys so you can, you know, learn from my mistakes. So here, if you guys want to uh, put how big the bottle is or your lip gloss or your container, whatever you're putting this on, you click text in the upper left and you click add text box. And um, you can type in whatever you want. You can change the font. You can change the size, the color, the transparency, if you want it to be curved or not. This is super cool. So easy. Okay, and right here, I'm going to put the size of the lip gloss. So I'm going to put 15 ml. And I'm going to rotate it. And I'm going to put it to up towards the edge. So kind of on the lip gloss, how, um, where I'm going to put the 15 ml, that's going to be the back of the lip gloss. And then where the Vic part is, is going to be where you'll apply it on your lips, like the screw top. So I kind of want this to be at the edge right there. So that's the size of it. And if you don't want to put the size because you don't know which what this label is going to go on, you know, you don't have to. But, you know, when you get more organized and you have your inventory and stuff, I'm not very organized right now. I'm just, you know, getting started and everything. I don't know if I'm going to put this just on the lip glosses or on another item. So I didn't put the size or a description. But um, I will eventually down the road. Now, if you want to add another text box kind of describing that item that you know, okay, these labels are for this uh, product or um, you have a name for your product, you can put it on as well. So I'm going to go to text and add text box again and um, maybe put moisturizing lip gloss so they know, okay, this lip gloss is luxurious or you can put um, velvety lip gloss, you know, some descriptive word um, that makes you stand out. Most people put hydrating lip gloss. But um, you can put anything you want right here. It's your stuff. You can put organic, like right there I put organic lip gloss. Um, you can put the flavor of that um, product that you have. Um, just any label that you want to, um, any descriptive word that you want to describe that item. Um, you get pineapple lip gloss. You can make the font smaller because you do kind of want it a little bit smaller than that. So pineapple, moisturizing lip gloss, make it super elaborate and super detailed, like this is what you're getting. It's pineapple flavor and it is moisturizing. 
or you can put a name um i put a crazy name guys um <laughs> i hope no one's lip gloss is named this but it'd be, it would be kind of funny though so it's baby mama <laughs> baby mama lip gloss so i'm good you guys can change the font here anything you want make sure you highlight it first though it's so late guys what time is it it's 1 40 in the morning i'm just gonna finish editing this video and then i'm gonna head to bed but yeah you can change the font here guys you can change the sizing i would want to make that a little bit smaller because that's too big it can't be as big as your logo that's just too big it's not as important so that's per per perfect that's a perfect size. Make that a little bit smaller. I don't think I'll put a baby mama right there. It just like combats the beauty. And I have on my logo beauty right there. It's in pink and it does not it does not kind of show up with some other stuff. Like I have a lip gloss that's um purpley and you can't even see it. So I might change that to black. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? I like the pink, but I don't know. Let me get let me know guys so the next page is going to let you preview it make sure you zoom in and make sure everything's okay and square before you approve your design um and then if you did go out the safety zone it will warn you on this page like hey you're out the safety zone um make sure you want to print this yada yada and when i went to this i was like yes i don't care click it's gonna be fine and no honey it was not fine um some of my the crown got cut off but that's all right i'm still going to use it to the end so right here it's showing you that for the last time what your labels are going to look like and here you can change the quantity so if you want more or less just go ahead and change it here as you can see the film the clear is $17 extra I don't believe it was $17 last time I ordered I feel like it was $8 or something like that which isn't that bad but $17 is too much it's too much but if you want to get white it's included um it's not that high and it'll be $34 so if you want to just do a white one that's cool but if you want clear, I probably will do a white one just so my label will stand out more. Because that's okay. Like, I don't need clear. But um, it is kind of high. And you just proceed to cart. Like I said before, guys, if you know another um, website that makes great labels like these, let me know. Um, just let me know, guys, so I can, like, save some money. But another tip for these labels that I messed up on, I put the labels on so I wash my lip glosses and then I put the label on. Then I filled my lip glosses. It was super sticky. Then I put it back in the water. And now they're peeling off. Like my my labels are peeling off. And like some of the writing is peeling off. So I'm like, ugh. I should have just put it on after I cleaned it and filled it. So make sure you put on your labels after. After you clean your lip glosses and fill them. Okay? Learn from my mistakes. So um, just proceed to check out. Fill out information. And click buy, honey. And if you have over $50, you get free shipping. So that's all I have for today. I hope you guys learned this, not learned this video. I hope you guys learned something and um, learned something new. And I hopefully walked you through everything that you need to know about making uh, labels on Avery. I love you guys so much. And thank you so much for 100 subscribers. Woo!